Hey guys, it's me Edgar here to do my review on issue 4, volume 4 of Thor. This is where Thor himself faces a uh, female Thor, or should I say Jane Foster Thor. So the comic opens up on a flashback where it picks off right after the events of the first issue on what happened to Thor after his battle with Malekith. So pretty much Odin and the rest of the Asgardians are there for Thor. They even made him a hand and of course he wears it. Then we go back to the present to where let's just say uh, Thor doesn't really like the new Thor and oh man they go in a little bit of a fight and it's so cool and awesome and I'm like oh shit this is gonna be great and she just whacks him around and he whacks her and dude it was just oh man it was just fucking amazing and then after that the hammer just fucking goes batshit crazy and she's using all of the power of Mjolnir as her disposal and the hammer just go bangs around like a rag doll and at for a moment Thor grabbed the hammer or about to and it doesn't go with him it goes with Thor himself now I love the fact that Thor kinda accepts that someone has Mjolnir and he has the big word are you my mother because at the time everyone thought that the new Thor is uh, Thor's mother and that turned out to be absolutely wrong and we know who it is so after that whole thing Malekith escapes along with fucking her, his cronies and the rest of the villains the Militar and a few other Thor villains pretty much walk their own path and go on their own bullshit and all the Asgardians Thor's mother's there uh, the Avengers, everyone is all there and they're all looking at this new Thor and pretty much I love the part where Thor pretty much says the hammer can destroy or it can build. She's indeed worthy on its power and kind of accepts her as new as the new Thor and I was like yes! Oh man, it's awesome! I, I was living it. I was so happy that Thor accepts not only she's indeed worthy, but she pretty much takes the name only temporary as the new Thor. And I know a lot of people just hated this run just because Thor isn't Thor! That ain't my Thor! Even though we did this before. I don't care! She's a woman! Well, gee, you had some other fucking guy literally use the power of Thor and didn't do jack shit with it. And oh, wait! Dude, let's just make it even further. Fucking the Eric Masterson Thor got his ass kicked by fucking Thanos himself! You call that a god of thunder? Please, spare me of your bullshit. Even Beta Ray Bill did it ten times better than Thor himself when he was wielding Mjolnir himself. But anyway, I, I, I digress. I love legacy characters. Jane Foster, aka Thor, the second Thor, or should I say the Thor, third Thor, in my opinion, Beta Ray Bill takes that spot. Um, but I personally feel this character should have been loved and respected and welcome but it turns out she all the fans just outcast her I don't I think she's absolutely amazing and uh, I'm gonna do my reviews on Valkyrie real soon issue 9 and 10 so on a scale 1 to 10 it's a 10 out of 10 I really enjoyed this book I really love it just overall, I love this character. She's my favorite female character, and I just, I just love Jane Foster as Thor and Valkyrie. 
And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned for more Thor reviews and Valkyrie reviews as well. And also more content will be coming out later today. We'll see you guys next time.